I just wanted to show you, um, I guess an alternative to just putting the pot straight into the container. Uh, this, is, this is a plant that came to me just like this. It came in this container. It's got no holes. But it does come with like a plastic liner. The pot is actually... Oh, the plant is actually growing inside of a plastic pot. And it has a lot of holes in the bottom. And this is actually growing in uh, bark. So... And then you can see there's water on the bottom. So the, the plant is constantly able to wick water as it's needed. So this, this substrate, this bark is constantly moist, which really seems to be the trick, I guess, with uh, growing these phalaenopsis. And also, as you can see, there's these aerial roots. You never want to bury this kind of thing that's growing out and coming out of the pots because those, those roots are actually pulling nutrients and air, um, I guess oxygen out of the air and whatever else might be in there they can um, absorb. <clears throat> Normally speaking, in the wild, in their natural habitat, um, the rain comes, and usually the rain, you know, because of they're growing inside of, like, the tree canopy, um, as the rain trickles down, because they don't grow, you know, phalaenopsis, I think they grow on, like, the upper echelon of the tree canopy, so they're not too low down, they're not too shaded, you know, they, they want bright light, but anyway, so, when it rains... The, um, the water is trickling down through the leaves, so whatever, you know, deposits on leaves like, you know, bat guano, bird poop, whatever, um, you know, decaying leaves with whatever nutrients are coming off of that, all of that's washing down with the rainwater, and these aerial roots are there to absorb all of that stuff, so... They're actually like sponges, so when um, when they get wet, they get very green, and they, they actually plump up a little bit. Um, and then, of course, the other thing, too, is that, you know, if you imagine <clears throat> this beautiful orchid growing in a rainforest, you know, it's like getting wet just about every day. So these leaves are getting washed constantly. So you should try and dust your leaves as often as you can. If not, you know, give them a good bath. Sometimes, when I first used to have orchids, I would just dunk them in the sink and just give them a spray. With the, you know, that, the hand hose. Anyway, so, I might do that. I don't have, I don't have a hose on my sink, but, um, I'm, I think I'm going to get some wet paper towel and just wipe these down. It's a very dusty. <clears throat> but anyway, and then the other thing too, I need to like cut off these these dead roots. Because they're not doing anybody any good. Also, um you know, you wanna cut off any any reason why the plant would be able to harbor um mold. You know, you, you want decay from like dead leaves, but you don't want decay coming from the plant itself. Is that, you know, that's it's attached to the plant. It could cause problems later on in the future, so. But meanwhile, this one probably should be repotted too with those roots just twining around the bottom. Anyway. It's not on my list of priorities this morning. <clears throat> right now I'm trying to get these other ones repotted. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, why does she keep doing this? She must be involved in the excitement. Oh, so the reason why I came back too is because I wanted to show you this one. It's, um, this is one of the ones. Oh no, it's not. I was going to say this is one of the ones I lost all of these. Didn't. 
However, over time it's been losing leaves. Because you have this pretty long stem here. And this is the base of the plant. And at the base of the plant, I'm getting these little babies. There's actually two, I think, in there. Yeah, can you see? Like, one of them has... It's funny, I actually couldn't see this before. I'm looking at it through the camera. Oh, come on, focus. There you go. Do you see the little tiny, tiny, um, leaf in the middle there? That's one, and then there's this other one here. And that one has a little tiny leaf in the middle, too. So anyway, I don't know. I think I'm going to let this grow a while, and then I'm going to, I'm going to separate it from its mother plants. And, um, make new plants. Meanwhile, I'm going to pull out some of this old sphagnum moss and um, cut off these dangling dead roots. I guess I also want to see what's happening down there. Alright, so I turned on the lights. You can see a little bit better. Isn't that amazing? Like a little, there's like an old flower stem right there, so you can't see. Anyway, like I said, I'm just gonna let these grow, and when they get bigger, then I'll I'll pop them off, separate from the mother plant. I can't really, really see the uh, origin of where they're growing out of. Like, I would like to be able to see if there's, like, roots, but I don't think so. They're, they're still very, very young. <clears throat> anyway, so, I think I'm going to put these into this container here. I'm really surprised about that one, actually, because this is one of the ones that was sitting in, like, the smallest container. It's probably sitting in this one here. But, um, it was very hard to keep that plant moist. So, I'm just gonna start the process over again. I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> 